Hello Flip Noise users, um, today we're going to be looking at uh, samples EXS24 and getting realistic drum sounds, uh, loading in zones, setting up groups and that kind of thing. So we're going to load a plan project and we're going to choose the instrument EXS24 sampler, which is there, do it in stereo, um, and we're going to create that and make that super big. Okay, so we have our sampler there. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go and find some drum hits from somewhere. Uh, we're going to click on Edit, just there, and bring up the other window where we drop our samples. And first thing we're going to do is go to Zone, and we're going to load multi samples, more than one sample. Um, at this point, you can put your samples that you want to load in there. Um, I'm going to go to my um, production samples folder and I think I've got drum hits and yeah any kit will do I'll, I'll just choose this one for now um, it's got various things in like a closed hi-hat and I can just double click it double click it even uh, and I've got a kick there over open hi-hat I've got a, a rim shot and a snare uh, could go on and on. Use general MIDI to set these up. Um, once you've got them, you can audition them if you want. Um, and then once you're happy, you've got all your samples in here. Uh, I'm going to add those. And it'll ask you a question. It's got six samples. And how do you want to build the map? Well, we're doing drums. So I'm going to select drums on there. And I'm going to select OK. And it puts various things in here. Um, I'm going to view all, which means all these are going to be parameters that I can select. There's some that aren't ticked. You could go through them and do them separate, but you can view all as well. Um, and as you can see, um, I've got velocity ranges on here. I think I'll take those off um, for now. Um, we will do velocity ranges another day. Um, and you've just got to put them... They're all on C3 at the moment. So if I grab one and move it along, you can see that's the closed hi-hat. And the closed hi-hat goes on the F-sharp key. Um, what's that one? Um, that's a snare. So I'll put that on D. And you can just grab them. You can see them moving around at the top. Um, that's my kick. So C1. And if I play it... Um, yeah, I forgot to wear headphones, so I can hardly hear it, but um, you get the general idea. Um, you've got your tom there, which I think is around about on F, um, off the top of my head, and then open hi-hat, G-sharp, and finally the rim shot. I think it goes there. Um, and now you've got... Now, at the moment... The original key is all over the shop, so if you look, F sharp 1 is the closed hi-hat. So F sharp 1 wants to be there. C1. There, G sharp 1. There, D sharp 1. These are all the original keys. Something like that. And... D1, and finally F1, okay so, okay so we've got various kicks all over here and um, you'll notice on my hi-hat for example, You've got a long open hat note, and you'll notice this isn't really like a realistic hat because when the opens playing, it, it plays the close hat as well. And obviously, on a eye hat, that wouldn't happen as you close it or open it. You play one or the other. So there's a way of setting that up in different 
groups. So for example, um, I could go to group, create a new group, call that hats. And if I go to all zones, I look for my closed hat, drop that in hats. I look for my open hats, drop that in hats. And um, now if I click on the group hats, you can see that I've got both of them in there and they're still playing at the moment. If I switch that to, um, let's go to switch it to a group, my hat's here. I want to switch it to monophonic, so I'm only going to play one voice at a time. Um, so I've got that one, still plays fully, but then as I play, as soon as it play their closed hat, the open hat cuts off. So that's nice, you get some nice grooves doing it that way. Um, also, at this stage, you probably want to save this. So uh, I'd go to instrument and I'd save as, and I'll save it as um, Slater's kit build version one. You can type in whatever you want there. I'm going to save that. I've already set this one up, so I'll just save over it. Um, now, that's all done now. I've got my zones all on the different keys here. Different one will light up as you click it. Um, if I wanted to, I could go in and alter the start and the end of each one, but I won't do that now. Um, let's convert that for a minute. Um, so I could, if I want, um, change the start of it. So I'm just playing a little bit of it. I could also just narrow it, zoom right in, and just get a particular waveform from that if I wanted to. Um, but we'll do that another day. Um, and once we've saved that, we can come out of there. You can see there, I've saved the samples in the, uh, where the samples are stored. Um, and also, you can use the synthesizer part of it to modulate. Um, I want to take some frequencies out with the velocity. So what I want to do is switch the filter on. And when it's played softly, I want it to filter out some frequencies something like that. So what you can do, you can come down to the modulation uh, and I'm going to change the cutoff. And the cutoff, filter cutoff, is going to change when I play different velocities. And I'll turn it up to max so you can really hear what it's doing. So when I hit it hard, you've still got all the frequencies coming through. But when I play it soft, the filter's kicking in. I can show you in more detail if I switch off the sensitivity of the velocity of the volume. Uh, that way, if I play it softly, you can hear the filter when I play it loud. It's the same volume because we altered this to be the same, um, but you can hear the filter changing the harder I hit the keys. So, so you can set this up the volume and the amount of filter filtering you want it to do. I've got a low pass filter on this at the moment. Um, and that is it. You've got a more realistic drum kit.